Hey Aries, Yana Speaks here, and in this video, I am doing your mid-May 2020 love reading. Now, I want to start off by saying that all of my readings are general, so they may or may not resonate with you, because not every single Aries is going through the same exact thing. So if you find that this reading does not resonate, then it would be in your best interest to book a prior reading with me. All the information to do so will be in the description below. Alright, so, whew, let's get started. What is the overall energy for the Aries this month? What is the Aries overall energy? The pop right out. Okay. What is their overall energy? Mm -hmm. all right so your overall energy is you guys are contemplating all right so where you guys are at in your love life right now is this energy of being at a crossroads right trying to figure out what you want to do next what you're supposed to do next what path you're supposed to take what i'm picking up is like I feel like you guys have gotten to the point where you're very, like, happy within yourself. You guys are very independent, very self-sufficient. Um, you know, you, you have your own, you know, you probably have a really good career. You're making, you know, a good amount of money. You're just really, like, good on your own, right? And I feel like the person that you're dealing with, you're just not really that happy with them. But I think that although you're not all the way happy with them, you're not really completely ready to move away from them. So it's that it's kind of like that confusing space, that gray area. That's where you guys are at. So you guys are contemplating. You're like, okay, like, what, what path do I take with them? Because like I said, I feel like you're bored with this person. Um, you're dissatisfied with the way that things are going. Maybe things have become very routine. But you may not want to fully let them go because there is a level of comfortableness with this person. Um, another thing I'm seeing here is like you and this person are total opposites, but it seems like you guys make it work. So that could be another thing too. You could be thinking to yourself, you know, if I, if I started dealing with someone new, it may be really hard because... I'm already comfortable with this person. We're already total opposites, but like, you know, this person understands me. So there's some confusion there. We also have the Six of Cups here and Seven of Swords. So I feel like this is probably someone you dealt, dealt with for a long time. Um, this is someone you're very comfortable and very familiar with. Okay, this could be someone from your childhood. You could have known them for that long. Um... They could definitely remind you of somebody from your childhood. But I just feel like you've known this person for a while. You're very familiar with them, very comfortable. Um, but there is some type of deception that's going on. And I want to see if it's you that's the one that's being deceptive. And I feel like it is you. But I feel like the deception is not necessarily cheating with someone else. I think the deception is... You pretending like everything is all good between you and this person. So this person may not even know that you want out. Or that you're even like considering it. And I think that's where you're being deceptive at. So why is the seven of swords here? Why is the seven of swords here? Yeah, I feel like the Seven of Swords is here because your feelings for this person is very up and down. It's like a juggling act, okay? You can be hot and cold with them. You could be flaky with them. Sometimes, you know, um, you may pick certain fights with them just because you're very frustrated with them and you're hoping for a change between you and this person. I feel like also, too, you're coming to the realization that the foundation you created with this person really isn't a solid one. And I just feel like you're really tired. So 
yeah, things are very inconsistent between you and this person. But you are hoping to heal things. Death. I think that's where you're being deceptive. It's like you're just not being honest with them on how you're feeling. Like I said, I feel like you're not 100% ready to let this person go, but you really are leading more towards just ending things. I feel like this person kind of has like one last straw with you. Like this person did one more thing and you're like, nah, I'm good. I can't do it. Okay, so let's see. How this person feels. All right, so how's this person feel about them? And that flew right out. That flew right out. Let's see. How's this person feeling about them? Okay, so I feel like whoever this person is, they may be a little immature. That could be why you're frustrating with this why you're frustrated with this person. But I feel like this person still in a way still wants things to work out between two, but there's a lot of conf confusion with them too. So this person is disappointed in the way that things have turned out between you and them. I am really strongly picking up that maybe you and this person aren't communicating right now, or it could be that there is communication, but it could just be that it's not a lie. It could be you're being very distant with them, but I feel like this person is wanting to have conversation with you. It's almost like they want to make like a small offer of like, you know, communication, a small offer to see if, you know, things can get better because this person does feel left out in the cold by you. But see, here's the problem with this person. This person, it's like they invest, but not enough to where you need them to. It's like this person holds their heart close to their chest and they're just unwilling to really like give their heart to you, right? But they do love you though. And it's like, the feelings they have for you is like they really don't even know how to control it. So it's kind of like, let's say like you was to do like a reading, right? Like a prior reading. And you were to ask like how this person feels about me. And like the reader's telling you like, yeah, I do see that they still want to be with you. I do see that they have feelings for you, but they're, they're a bit immature. Um, you know, their feelings aren't like super, super strong at times, but then... Other times it's like really intense feelings and they really don't know how to control it. You would probably be like, nah, I don't even think that they even like want to be with me because the way this person comes off, right? Like sometimes people's feelings don't match what they actually do. So it's like this person's fighting with that. It's like they feel like these overflow of emotions for you, but then they're like, no, but I can't give them my heart completely. You know what I'm saying? And it's like they have their moments where they're like, yeah, I like I like the, uh, what time, what time is this that we're doing right now? Aries, sorry. They're like, yeah, I do like the Aries, but I really can't like give them my heart. You know what I mean? But then there's other times when they're like, man, I can't even contain how I'm feeling. So this person is really immature. They're really confused. They have a lot of grown up to do. But I feel like this person does love you. I feel like you do make them feel really emotionally fulfilled. I feel like deep down inside, they do want to have something really serious with you. But there's just this energy of like, I can't fully give my heart to them. So it could just be like, this person just has way more grown up to do. It could be a long time. Um, yeah, like this person just really needs to grow up. The King of Cups. So it's like, Remember the, the example that I just used? Like, this person loves you on a deep emotional level, but they can come off at times like they're uncaring. They could come off sometimes like, you know, they really don't feel that way about you, but in their heart, that's really how they feel. 
a lot of people are really like that though like a lot of people are really stubborn and a lot of people sabotage their own love lives you know a lot of people are just afraid to like be vulnerable and i feel like this person is like that there could be disappointments about fights that you guys have okay um maybe some bad words were exchanged between you two okay so this person i feel like they still want this to work okay but they're stubborn so this is not going to be an easy road with this person so i'm going to ask for it like is this worth fighting for is this worth fighting for is it worth fighting for this Maybe you guys came out as the Queen of Pentacles. Four of Swords. The Hierophant. Okay, so. Hmm. This is what I'm going to say. Because I'm trying to give you guys a clear, clear answer. Please give me a clear answer. Is this worth fighting for? this earlier what was earlier too three of swords okay so this one thing i'm gonna be real with you right um okay so let me explain like this right at this current moment i feel like spirit is saying that you need to not deal with this right now like you need to take a break from this person okay um spirit don't want you to make any decisions right now i think reason why spirit doesn't want you to make any decisions right now is because you're really in your in your feelings you're really in your emotions and you may not make a wise decision you may not be ready to walk away from this person ultimately i feel like this may not be worth it it might not be worth saving just because it's so many hurdles in front of you. Let me ask this question. Can their person ever change? I'm what I'm really getting and what I'm feeling intuitively is like spirit is saying, don't, don't, don't like deal with this at this moment. Take a break from it. And like give this person space to grow it's not completely saying it's not worth it but it's not completely saying that it is worth it but i ain't gonna lie it's going more towards like it ain't worth it but then there's a small part of me that's like nah maybe it's, it can be worked out you know let me see will their person ever change I feel like they will. I feel like they will change. But I feel like it's going to be a long process. So it might be best that maybe you take a break from this person. Maybe you need to take a very long break from them. Maybe you guys need to go in separate directions. Maybe for a year. And let this person grow. Let them do their own thing. And reconnect when this person grows up. Sometimes you got to let people go. And what's that saying? If you if you let them go and it comes back, it's yours. If not, you never know. Whatever that saying is. That's kind of what's saying here. All right. So I'm going to end this video here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.